welcome to our new reading session related to the story of Weaver, New Jersey, part 4. By the end of the session, you should be able to. And this is the story cover uh, featuring the, our main character, Lucinda, and this is uh, the um, title, the genre of the story, and the author and illustrator's name. Uh, so we have decided that uh, you should read um, independent entry of page 93 and 94 but I thought that I, I should also discuss it with you. Uh, so we have stopped at this part together. The restaurant also made fried bananas but Lucinda's mother didn't think they were as tasty as her own. Okay, so uh, let's look at some of the words. Yes, here the dinner conversation drifted. Now they are sitting at dinner, the mother, the father, and Lucinda. Her brother was away in another town because he was very busy with his friends and his baseball uh, school team. Uh, so only the three of them. And then the mother started by asking... Um, Lucinda about her day at school, but then the conversation drifted. So what is the meaning of drifted? Carried away or went another way, not about Lucinda's school, as it always did. To mama's problems, uh, so drifted to what? To mama's problems at work with the supervisor and papa's frustration with his job. So um, what is the meaning of frustration? Means that he was annoyed about things that you can't change and why was he um, annoyed or frustrated because he had to travel um, uh, for uh, many hours to get to his work using two buses and a subway uh, every day okay you get uh, so he's uh, he started to lecture or sermonize uh, Lucinda by telling her that she should get education and go to college and then get a proper job instead of uh, working like he's um, uh, in a job like his okay and he's telling her you should get a, um, you get an education go to college okay and here he wants her to work like uh, some uh, some uh, decent job like a doctor and if it is far away, you hire someone like me with no education um, now uh, to drive you. So he's asking her or he's telling her that you should get good education because he, for himself, he doesn't have any. So what did Lucinda's father talk about at dinner? Talking about her getting good education and going to college. And why? Because he was so frustrated with his job and wants her to get a good one and this is page 94 okay so we can look here at they were talking about her brother's upcoming basketball sorry it's the basketball not the baseball basketball game when suddenly all the lights in the apartment went out so what do you think what is the cause of this we remember before that she put uh, the dog in the this uh, uh, electric uh, electric supplies uh, switches and delivers a uh, room in the basement so it must be that the dog has touched something or switched off uh, uh, one of the master key um, uh, of the whole building Kipasso, uh, her father exclaimed, so what, what, what's happening? Agitated voices, agitated means upset, agitate, upset. Um, agitated voices, voices could be heard from the outside hallway. A neighbor banged on the door, striked on the door, shouting, call the fire department, someone's trapped in the elevator. Can you imagine the mess and the chaos that the dog has? Of course, because somebody is in the elevator and the electricity went out, so there is there was a woman trapped in the um, in the elevator, 
groups of tenants. Tenants means uh, the people who are living in their building, named it outside their apartments, some carrying candles and flashlights. The building had been pitched into darkness, so it was all dark. We'll get you out, someone shouted to the woman caught between floors. This is the woman in the elevator. Listen, that cried Chauncey. Now, now she understood that this was the doing of the dog. He must have hit the master switch. So, what caused the light to to go out? It was the dog touched uh, one of the master uh, switches or the keys, and uh, she could hear the distant wail sirens of the fire engines and they knew it was only a matter of minutes before they checked the room where the dog was hidden so she went down to look for the dog okay to find him in the uh, in this um, in this basement uh, room okay but the rescuer here reached the basement before she did and now two firemen were huddled in the doorway checking the power supply now they understood what was happening they went to the star supply room and they were checking there so she found that the dog was gone here he was gone so uh, she went outside um, in the night uh, running or racing in the street looking for the dog Lucinda looked up at the sound of her mom she saw her mom was calling her name she was afraid that the dog might be uh, hit with a car and she's going to find him dead but she didn't find anything outside so how did the dog cause the electricity to go out the dog touched one of the key uh, of the master uh, switches of electricity in the building so this is the new page 95 and we are already very um late okay so lucinda didn't plan it but she found herself in front of ashley's house minutes later so now she found herself yeah we said that ashley's house was near lucinda's building she was on the sidewalk with the rest of her neighbors gazing up at gazing means looking up at the block at the commotion in front of lucinda's building so uh, Ashley was also outside looking at the commotion. What is the meaning of commotion? A state of confusion, uh, of confused and noisy disturbance. State of confusion. Okay. Hi, listen, the stammered. So what is the meaning of stammered? Say something, stutter, like stutter, like when you say something and you repeating what you're saying. Ashley took a, min a moment to place the face and then returned the smile hi lucinda looked about nervously wondering if any of the adults belonged to ashley's family so she was very nervous she didn't want anyone to see her with or talk to her because she's going to uh, ask ashley about uh, the dog or what is going to happen to him she didn't have a moment to waste what happens she blurted out when a dog runs away so what is the meaning of blurt uh, blurred to say or exclaim something in to say something okay do the police catch it so now she's worried about she didn't find the dog so she's worried about what is going to happen to uh, stray dogs what happens to stray dogs okay the blonde chubby teenager this is uh, she is uh, describing or now this is the description of uh, Ashley she's blonde and chubby what is the meaning of chubby means like she's round or overweighted okay with light green eyes so her eyes are green and the glasses with pink frames shrugged shrugged means to move the shoulders up and down okay probably if they do they only take it to the pound so what is the pound what is that it sounded bad whatever it was so what is the pound? It's a shelter for stray dogs, where they keep animals. If nobody claims them, claim them uh, they kill them. Lucinda started to cry. Now she knew that nobody's going to go for the dog Chauncey to the, to the pound and now maybe it, 
uh, the dog is going to be killed she couldn't help it she started to cry and she couldn't help it she loved the dog it came upon her suddenly greatly embarrassed shy like ashamed she turned quickly and hurried away wait up the blonde uh, hurried after her hey Lucinda stopped too too ashamed here this is the meaning of sorry this is the meaning of uh, embarrassed ashamed to meet her eyes did you lose your dog Ashley's voice sounded concerned now the girl is concerned about Lucinda's dog okay what does this tell us about her Lucinda nodded moved her head well let's go let's go find him Ashley uh, prop prodded so what is the meaning of prod poke you know poke when you poke someone you touch you touch him or her on the shoulder okay they searched the surrounding neighborhood so now the two girls went out to search for the dog okay and they checked underneath all the cars parked in the area in case he was hiding they searched basements and rooftops when all else failed they walked to the park along the river now they couldn't find the dog at all and then they went to the park along the river where Lucinda pointed out the tree where she had found him do you think that you, they they are going to find the dog there so the girls decided to sit in a nearby bench in case chance will reappear now they are in the park though they realized there was little hope Lucinda knew her mother would be frantically worried. So, what's the meaning of frantically? It means uh, scared, very scared, worried. Uh, she probably had the police looking for her. She told Ashley, for me, sorry. She told Ashley, You've only been gone an hour. It's the first time I have left the house except to go to school since we moved here. She revealed. So, what's the meaning of revealed? Like told or made known. It was a beautiful night, despite the cold, tingling breeze that swept up from the river. So it was uh, the the night was okay, but uh, some cold breeze um, uh, was there. The new uh, the New York skyline. Yeah, we said that uh, the New York skyline. This is the uh, skylight. Okay, was ablaze. So, what is the meaning of ablaze? Like burning with the sunlight, yes, with golden windows silhouetted against the dark. So, what is the meaning of silhouetted? S silhouetted, uh, like this in the, in the uh, like dark shape. Okay, yes, a uh, box like steel structure, structures. Uh, you could make out the red traffic lights along the narrow streets along you could make out the red traffic lights along the narrow streets along thin barge um, sailed down the river so what is the barge sorry yeah this is the bar the barge okay like a boat kind of boat uh, sailed down the river like a rubbery snake So this is page 96, Lucinda learned that Ashley's mother was a lawyer often away from home. Yes, so the mo Ashley's mother was a lawyer often away from home for long periods and her father operated a small business in New York's Chinatown which kept him busy uh, seven days a week so her parents are always busy so how are the two girls alike their parents are always busy in their uh, in their jobs an only child she spent her time studying and writing letters uh, who do you write to Lucinda asked my grandmother mostly she uh, lives in Nevada I spend the summer with her Lucinda told her how lucky she was uh, uh, she was to be able to see her grandmother. Now Lucinda is, is thinking about her own grandmother and that she can't see her anymore because 
she refused to travel to the United States and she's she's still there in Cuba and she doesn't know where uh, she if they are going to meet again she fell dangerously close to tears again and the question changed to the subject I never see you with um, any friends in school why Ashley shrugged guess I am not the friendly type uh, I, actually she's not she's not like this she's friendly with Lucinda but maybe she's like Lucinda she doesn't uh, feel comfortable with the girls there most of the girls are only interested in boys and dudes I intend to be a famous writer one day now this girl has a goal she has a target uh, she has a dream to achieve and she's working towards her dream so there is a lot of books I have to read just so I know what's been done uh, it makes sense why are you going to be what are you going to be now Ashley's asking Lucinda thank you so much Lucrez if you have any questions go to the discussion room